Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is some Forex quick look, a technical look at the sterling versus U.S. dollar. Today's date is July 24, 2023. In trading on Thursday and Friday, the uh, price traded above and below the 50% midpoint. That 50% midpoint is of the uh, move up from this low, the end of June low, to the uh, high price that we saw. I guess that's on uh, July 14th. Uh, the uh, price has been uh, trending more to the downside of late, but uh, again on Thursday and again on Friday, the price uh, traded below the 50% retrace, moved back above it on Friday, tried to stay above it, could not move back below it and close uh, below the level. Uh, what is interesting is that the high price that we saw late Friday afternoon did find a resistance levels against that 50% retracement and that uh, carried over into today's trading where sellers again tried to keep the price below the 50%, but it did move above and stayed above for about three hours in the Asian session before rotating back to the downside. More recently, the corrective high in the European early uh, morning session moved up to retest that 50% retracement, but stayed below that level. So the sellers are trying to keep the lid on the up here. You see this yellow area right here. Uh, if I were to look at the four hour chart, uh, you get a better idea of its uh, significance and uh, going back in time to these highs right through here. Uh, and uh, this, uh, these highs here, 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 here. This was a ceiling here for a, uh, these are weak, weak time periods. So about three or so weeks before the market then uh, broke to the upside and moved uh, to the high. It wasn't until uh, trading last week where the price did come down into that area, uh, trading above and below, below it. Uh, and we are currently below that level in the last hour, uh, I guess, four hour bar. We have been able to stay below the one. 28.349 to 128.486 level. That's going to be a close resistance. Now, uh, if we were to break, uh, uh, stay below that level, that keeps the bears more in control. We are uh, in uh, currently testing uh, or near the uh, six, actually currently testing the 61.8 percent retracement of this move to the upside. So uh, getting below that level would have traders then looking toward the 200 bar moving average uh, here. The level also corresponds with. And this high right here it's only one single point along the uh, along the uh, move to the upside upside uh, that we saw in the uh, month of uh, July but uh, nevertheless uh, it uh, is more or less corresponds with the 100 bar or 200 bar moving average of the four hour chart here near the 12774 level so be aware of that uh, but we still need to get below the 128 level uh, on uh, include which is the 61.8 percent retracement and a natural support at that level so our uh, sellers are, are tr making a play here and uh, more in control here in the sterling versus u.s dollar we will uh, continue to watch the um, uh, the uh, 128 level on the downside uh, for this uh, pair and on the top side watch the uh, 128 35 to, to 48 uh, 49 level on the top side along with the 50 50 percent retracement stay below those levels is more bearish my name is greg mcgloskey good fortune with your trading bye bye now